The steps that have been decided are the following. A moment etched in history. The prohibition of the African National Congress, the Pan-Africanist Congress, the South African Communist Party and a number of subsidiary organizations is being rescinded. Kasatu <laughs> General Secretary Zuelin Zima Vavi remembers the day with a smile. We were ululating who it was an environment of uh, unbelievable uh, uh, proportion when it comes to an excitement. And uh, of course, everybody's dream was like all oh, things are falling in place, our freedom is on its way. For Puck Boerter, one of FW de Klerk's trusted lieutenants, this was proof change was on its way. Our locomotive was moving towards destruction, turmoil, civil war. And, and somehow their leaders turned it, stop it, and turn it around to go into the correct direction. And that was 2 February. For ANC stalwart Aziz Pahad, the announcement took the party by surprise. At last, our slogan of freedom in our lifetime became a reality. And I think everybody there, uh, the prisoners would come out of Robben Island, like us who had been in secret discussions, we knew it was a matter of time, but we didn't think it was coming <laughs> at that particular moment. He says the speech should never be discounted for the change it brought to the country. In the end, you need a leader to say, I know there's opposition, I'm going to be called a traitor, I'm going to be called soft, but I'm taking the decision. Nicholas Bauer, Johannesburg.